Welcome to a new series. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, Wild World is not totally gone forever. It'll definitely come back one day. But I just kind of feel like New Leaf has a bit more to it that'd be more interesting as a video series. And I'm going to name my town, as you probably see on the left there, Cosmos. To go with Nova. Okay, wow, I spent a very long time resetting for a good map layout there, and I got a very unique looking place. I don't think I've ever spawned a map that looks like this. This is a very long time. This was about... I think I just took 15 minutes trying to get a decent place. I really wanted something that had a, a secret little beach, like you had on the left side there, and a campground in a decent place, not surrounded by anything where I could put the campsite down later on, but we'll get into all of that. But look at this, it's got like a little split vertical river there. It looks really cool, so here is exactly where Cosmos is. You know, I was thinking that I always kind of go for the same face in every Animal Crossing game, so I'm going to try something a little different. It's a secret. Ah, a secret, you say? Okay, how about telling me what you plan to do once you get to this place? Or is that a secret too? Ah, uh, it's a secret. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I can get your secret if I think really hard enough. Let's see here, you've got what appears to be a one-way ticket. Oh, that's it. Could you be moving? Hmm, you got it. Oh, really? I guessed right? <laughs> it was just the first thing that came to mind, honest. Wow, you're moving, starting over somewhere is always exciting. How fun for you. I sure hope you create a great life for yourself in Cosmos. Oh, thank you, Rover. I might have mentioned this in Wild World, but he's one of my favourite NPCs. He's so cheery and friendly and just excited to go on adventures. I wish you saw more of him, to be honest. But I do have an amiibo of Rover, so it's definitely not going to be the last time we see of him in this game. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot lately. I've done this much travelling since 2002 or so. Man, that's weird. <laughs> to be honest, with New Leaf being about five years old now, it's actually pretty recent that he's been doing some rail travels. Oh, here comes the train! In wonderful 60 FPS, which is not what you'll be seeing, because my OBS can only capture 30, <laughs> so my computer doesn't die. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to close my eyes now as we pull into the town. Oh, not just yet, because I do want to see me. Oh, I have little eyelashes! And a horribly matchy outfit. <laughs> but you know what? I own it. Okay, now I'm going to close my eyes. Because we're about to get a peek at our very first neighbours. I don't want to see who they are just yet. Although it's going to be difficult to do commentary without seeing what's happening, isn't it? I think I remember well enough. Okay, that sounded like a female villager. I think there was another female. Oh, that's a deep villager. That sounds like a grumpy guy. And that sounds like Isabel. <laughs> so, welcome to Cosmos! Thank you, people I don't know yet. I'm gonna skip all through this dialogue here. It doesn't matter what option I choose. Basically, the gist of this opening is that I'm confused. Isabel is excited because I'm the mayor, but I'm not the mayor. So I'm trying to explain <laughs> what's happening, but I'm pretty much gonna end up the leader of this town, regardless of what I say. I just got my town map. I can, I can sort of see out of the corner of my eye. Okay. Alright, let's get the hang of stuff. I'm still kind of unused to my controls. I am, as you probably gathered, playing this uh, through emulation, by the way. Not technically a leak. It's sort of a grey area, you know. I do own this game twice over, in fact. It is not illegal to emulate games. It's just illegal to download ROMs from places. But, you know, it's 2018, dating myself, who really cares anymore? I paid for it, it's fine, it's good. The only reason it's emulation is because I don't want to fork out for a 3DS capture card. I mean, really, when I've got here, this trusty old laggy OBS all nice and handy, I don't really need that. Okay, let's stop wandering around aimlessly for a second <laughs> and talk to Isabel. Check the map for directions to the town hall. Okay, do I want to go straight there? Or do I want to see some neighbours first? Hmm. Well, I'll go straight to the town hall, and then if we see anybody on the way, that's just what happens, you know? Ooh, there's our first builder passing. Retail, okay. I don't think I'm going to run into anyone by the looks of it on the way over to the town hall. I guess it's a pretty easy ride. There's a house there. There's two houses that we could check into, but mm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just going to peep, uh, peep meet troll. 
<laughs> Meet people naturally. Here's our beautiful house of residence. I think she's just opened the door in Isabel's face. I'm not making a good first impression. Now what colour is our town hall going to be? Brown. Exciting. This town hall will be your base of operations. Oh, I completely forgot to mention I'm staff here too. I'm Isabel, your secretary, and I'm here to help you in any way that I can. But if I may be frank, I was surprised to see someone as young as yourself stop off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, 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 many years, and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of fresh air, and exactly a new image that our town needs. You're perfect for the job. And I have to go and build a house. That's exactly what I need to do. So we have to go off over to Main Street, so we can finally have a nice place to live. And also, this map is so cool. I really don't know where I want to live. God, there's so many good spots we could live in. Oh, we'll come back to that later. Um, oh, this music is so... Bonnie! Bunny? Bunny. D Who's that in the background there? Who's this dude? I don't know who that guy is. I have not got a clue who that is. I don't recognise that villager at all. It must be a New Leaf exclusive that I've never had in my game. He looks like an otter. But that's not an option, so I don't know who that is, but Bunny! I love Bunny! I don't remember you from the train, I had my eyes closed the entire time I was there. I knew you'd be a great mayor from the second I saw you. I can't wait to see how you help our town grow into an amazing place. Tee hee! I love Bunny! She's so adorable, and we're kind of matching, really, in our little, you know, she's got a little plaid shirt, I've got similar I don't know what the specific pattern is but it's in the same kind of tartan region who was that guy oh it's a kangaroo you Walt <laughs> you I'm Walt <laughs> I was in the crowd welcome you in front of the station earlier but maybe you don't remember me that's true it sounds too stiff to call you mayor so I'll just call you by your actual name let's try to get along like friends and make this town a great place to live I love him he's Awfully similar to Kurt, now that I think about it. Like, look at his design, his colour scheme. Hmm, this town has some spiritual successes. I'm being haunted by my past demons, it seems. The the neighbours that I've abandoned back in Wild World. Alright, ooh. Grasshopper. I can't catch anything just yet, though. So let's head on over to Main Street. Now, I remember good old Nook. The slightly corrupt shop owner back in Wild World, he has gone into real estate now. And here's the one, instead of just giving his house debt, is going to build his new house entirely. I haven't, but you know, he doesn't need to know that. Oh, okay. Let's think about where we're going to live. Oh. Please wait. <laughs> He's too chunky to keep up with me. Look at him. Look at him in his little yellow coat and stuff. He's so autumnal. Well. I'm gonna have to think long and hard about where I want to stick this house down because that is a permanent choice and I want it to be somewhere good. Although the whole map is pretty great, honestly. And if I explore it long enough, we're probably likely gonna run into some more people. So it's worth exploring around until I decide where I'm gonna pop my place down. This is pretty nice near the river. It's pretty wide open too, but maybe I want to build on that later. Oh, free... Free... Da... Gwen. <laughs> Remember me from the train station? I was there to welcome you, ha <laughs> ha My name is Gwen, and I have a feeling we're going to become great friends. We share something in common, you know. We both want Cosmos to be wonderful. So come and chat with me anytime. I'm your biggest supporter. Oh, we have a penguin. I am very thrilled about that because that's one of my favourite birds, and also animals in general. Now this spot, where the campsite is, if you look over there, yep, can't go up there right now though, is gorgeous. Look, you have a little river pond right there if you were camping here and wanted to do some fishing or just some relaxing by the water. I could go down here, you know, stick my house here, keep an eye on the campsite, but somebody's here already. And I get the feeling that's probably Bunny's house. Yep. Just from how colourful it is, you know, it seemed like her kind of architecture. So I could go here and be neighbours. It's a pretty cute place. Oh, this spot's good though. Like right by the ocean and also the river. And by the secret beach. Oh, this is my own private secret beach. Okay, that's real tempting, I'll be honest. The mayor gets her own beach. That's just how things are going to work around Cosmos from now on. I kind of want to leave a lot of space up here to build up kind of a legit campsite, you know, like buy the actual one. So I don't want to build my house nearby, I don't think, and take up all that space. 
something up here could be kind of sweet honestly like up in the trees near the uh near the railway oh actually that's very nice that's highly tempting this rock's kind of in the way though I'm gonna have to do some landscaping I should keep running into trees imagine if you were just this raccoon trying to build me a house and I just keep flinging myself into trees you would be concerned this spot seems nice I'm kind of liking this area this whole bit even though that would be incredibly noisy in real life I like the idea of always putting my house next to the railway <laughs> there's just something really pleasant about that I'm really thinking, you know, up by the railway, because I can keep my eye on the town hall, you know, it's easy to get to the beach from here. I think this is a good spot. I think I'm going to go ahead and place my house right about here. Okay, here's our preview. I like that. I think... Hmm. I think I'm gonna give that a yes. Oh, the celebratory doot! Great. And that's where our house is gonna go for the rest of this game. Oh, the happy music. This is making me nostalgic, you know, for about five years ago when I first bought this game. <laughs> Oh yeah, we do need somewhere to actually live, so we get a tent. Ta-da! He's so pleased about the tent. I'm proud of him. People, people really like to hate Tom Nook, but you know what? He's a he's a real legit friendly guy. Oh, that psychedelic little do-do-do-do in that music is the best part, and it's a shame we only really get to hear it once. Well, now that our beautiful house near the railway is finally up, our tent, let's head back to the town hall. Oh, she's smiling there, ready to greet us. She's such a good secretary. And obviously you might not have noticed if you don't play this, but she is in her little autumn cardigan because her clothes change with the seasons, which is the most precious little detail. Yeah, I found the perfect spot to call home if I like hearing trains going by every five minutes. When's my birthday? Uh, oh, that must be the birthday of the person whoever dumps this emulator. But that's not mine. Mine is the 2nd of June. Oh, the 2nd of June. That's your birthday? Yep. Thank you very much. Please take this. <laughs> ah, that's my town pass card with all of my information on it about Cosmos, about me. That's probably not going to come in very useful because right now the simulator does not really have any kind of Wi-Fi support. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I can go and visit people. Oh, but until I go into all of that... We have to go back to that little box I mentioned and plant the tree. Oh, we're actually going to see the villagers here, aren't we? <gasps> oh, we got two roos! And we got Agent... Oh, big. I think that's Big Top in the superhero gear over there. So, little, little creepy, and I promise I haven't altered anything because I don't have any kind of save editor for this game. We have a villager that looks like Kurt. And a villager that's a superhero. Very similar to our Wild World Town. I feel like I'm being stalked somehow. Yeah, so our remaining villagers are Big Top and the kangaroo over there is Marcy, who are totally precious, so I'm happy with our starting villagers. They are they are a good bunch to have uh, collected at the very beginning. But enough of that because we need to get back to our sapling. We're gonna plant, as Isabel explains, our town tree to grow as Cosmos does. What if I just stay here for a really long time? What happens then? What if I choose to just not plant this tree? Is everyone just gonna get bored eventually or...? <laughs> so intense. Maybe I'll just sit here and, and listen to the calming music for a little bit before I decide to plant this tree. The townsfolk sure are patient with me, aren't they? Yeah, if somebody just stood there with a tree, smiling, you would eventually just go, what, what, what's wrong? Is, is everything okay? Okay, let's stop teasing the villagers and stick our new town tree into this hole. Hooray! <laughs> and they're still so happy for me.
Thank you. Congratulations. I hope this tree grows as strong and lively as Cosmos. All of us are looking forward to the changes you'll be making in our beloved town. <laughs> oh no, responsibilities. I have other tests to attend to, so I'll head back to the town hall. Please spend the rest of the day as you like. Look around town and greet your new neighbours. And if there's anything you don't understand about Cosmos or you just don't know what to do. <laughs> I think, trust me, after that experience she's had with me not being able to plant a tree, there's probably a lot she's anticipating that I can't do. <laughs> Good work today. If you say so, Isabel. Oh my gosh, hi again! Nice afternoon, right? What do you want to talk about, Tihi? <laughs> I totally hope you love our town, Mayor. You know, it's like a little baby chick. Because if you keep caring for this place, it'll grow bigger and more people will move here. Just like a chicken. Yeah, this chick will grow into the biggest, fluffiest chicken ever. Yeah, bark, bark, bark. Wait, what was I saying again? Yeah, I think you kind of lost me at people moving to chickens there, Bunny. Well, let's go talk to, uh, not Kurt again. Hey, He's like Brock, he's just got his eyes closed. Hey, Keat! Pockets. What about them? That they're, they're good. Yeah, I agree with that. So what's up? Hey, you bought a house, right? Now you gotta start filling it up with cool new stuff. Walt's all about the clutter like I am. I can respect that. That looks like Big Top. Yeah, it was Big Top. Let's go see what they're up to. Oh. Big Top is absolutely swole. Look, look at all the stuff in here. What music is playing? Oh, KK Metal, yeah, Big Top is strong. <laughs> hey there, Mayor, my name's Big Top. It's nice to meet you, villain. Villain? When I saw you planting that tree in the event plaza, my heart got all thumpy-thumpy. <laughs> you look like a mayor who knows how to have fun, villain. We'll eat snacks and drink juice and be merry and stuff. Three of my favourite things. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's probably Marcy's house, all pink and cookie-like. Oh my gosh. She has a little crib for her baby Joey. And what music is playing? Is this Forest Life? Oh, that's her drawers. The gentle fragrance from this is actually quite refreshing. Of course, she has nice smelling cupboards and stuff. Can I not check what the music is, though? Hmm, I need to stop looking in her stuff when I haven't even spoken to her yet. I think it's Forest Life, though. I have a strong feeling. So look, even her kid has toys. I've got a rocking horse. Which is a bit weird when you're an animal, because that's sort of like having some kind of human that you that you go and... Like, imagine if you had a wooden human and you just sat on its shoulders and went back and forth. That'd be a bit weird. And a doll! Which is a bit more normal. Anyway, you should probably finally talk to Marcy instead of stalking around her house so much. Mayor, I'd just like to say that you were very inspiring at the ceremony earlier. Oh, I beg your pardon, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Marcy. May I call you Keat? <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Oh, uh, okay, I've just, actually, I've just realised another similarity to Wild World. We had a pretty sassy, cold kangaroo mother, and now we have a gentle, sweet pastel kangaroo mother. Gotham Pastel GFs. Actually, she was called Matilda. They bust out with an M. Oh, what is happening here? Her eyes are a star. Oh, she fits so well in with Cosmos. And then, and then her catchphrase is pouches. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a really weird thing for a kangaroo to say. <laughs> oh, can I please get your opinion on something? Oh, the outfit matches her house. I'm not sure I can pull it off. Marcy, sweetie, you can pull anything off. You look. Let's get this right. Let's not make a mistake here. Amazing. You mean it? I'm so happy. Being told I look fashionable gives my confidence a little boost. I'll keep wearing it then. Say, I'm holding on to another outfit I just bought. Why don't you wear this one to celebrate your move here? Oh, they're giving us- she's giving me clothes? She's such a mother. Will you try it on for me? I'm sure it'll look good on you. I'm sure anything Marcy gives me will look amazing on me. Wow, let's see what this adorable outfit is. Ooh, I like it. I don't know what it is, but it's funky. I think I'm into it. Oh, she's so precious. I love that she actually has like a proper little house. Like Big Top is just a gym. <laughs> But this is just like this is a this is a livable house with a bed and a kitchen and a crib and a cupboard like it it's it's just it's I want to pinch this house. Oh, hello. Welcome. This is your new cat machine. If you've earned meow coupons by participating in town initiatives, you can collect them here. All right. What did we do to get this coupon exactly? 
I'm not really sure, but... <laughs> oh, okay. And we got some more coupons. Good. Are you finished? Okay then. Oh hey, let's actually check our time pass card. I haven't looked at it yet. Wait, Russia? <laughs> Why am I from Russia? Oh, this is also the person who owned the emulator. I'm gonna have to do some setting changes because that's not right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Even Marcy couldn't save me this time. Oh, my first tree furniture, what is it? A microscope. Yeah, okay. And now we can finally get our first proper look at Main Street. You can see that there's uh, not a whole lot of stuff going on, but a lot of space for things that could come later. So you can probably tell that we're expanding not only Cosmos, but the street outside of it. Welcome, welcome, come on in. What's this? Could it be your first time in our humble establishment? Our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's rather teeny, but please relax and enjoy the shopping. Take your time. <laughs> yes, so in this game, Tom Nook has moved up into real estate, so his little nephews, Timmy and Tommy, have taken care of the whole retail business. I really want these items because they are giving me such a Marcy vibe, but I saved up money to buy tools. So, let's go ahead and do this first. I'll come back for you. Ooh, also, this is actually why I wanted to start Animal Crossing near Halloween. Because we have some candy here. And it is 400 bells, whoops. That's too expensive. That's too pricey for candy for me, so I'm gonna have to come back for that. But it's stuff that I want to stock up on. Because in the next couple of days we'll have an event based around Halloween and I'll be needing that candy. Also, here's the Able Sisters again! Are you by any chance the new mayor everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone around town has been buzzy about you, so you're quite easy to recognise. Oh, look at them guys! It's my favourite little hedgehogs and our shy little Sable. Who we're gonna need to befriend all over again. Because she doesn't recognise me in this alternate town. Ooh, this is some kind of boring stuff on this play actually. No offence Mabel. I do kind of want that tartan tea. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Again, if 420 bells, I, I can't buy it. I'm too poor. But let's step over here, which is a difference from Wild World, into our accessories section. Yeah, look at that. Also, another reason I want to play now Halloween is that on the left here you'll see we have a mummy mask. And that's actually a seasonal item, as you can tell from it being priced 1031. But we can't buy it because that's too expensive also. And here's the sister I was making reference to back in Wild World, La Belle, also known as Label. You know, Sable, Mabel, Label, that's how everything goes here. Well, we'll come back to you at a later date because I don't have enough bells to buy anything. Have you been to the beach yet? Oh, no, we haven't. The town has two slopes you can use to get down to the beach, and also a special secret little beach that only you and I know about. Hey, Isabel. Don't tell anyone. If you have a fishing rod or a wetsuit, you can fish or dive and have a lot of fun down there. It's so relaxing just to listen to the waves and walk along the beach, collecting seashells. Oh, I know! If you have time, why don't the two of us go down there together right now? It would be nice to find a seashell to take home as a souvenir of our little trip. Oh, oh my, I should apologise. That was too bold of me, wasn't it? If you happen to go down to the beach, uh, it would be a nice thing to do for me. I think we know what we have to do. Ooh, sea snail shell. Isabel likes snails, right? Hey Isabel, I brought you a pet. What kind of monster would ever pick this option? Oh, you actually remember to bring me a seashell? Enjoy your snail. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll put it in my room and take good care of it. See, she really appreciates her new pet. I think decorating a room with seashells can make for a very interesting interior design. Also, you can sell seashells. She oh my god, why is she giving me this tongue twister now? Isabel, please, I have a lisp. Oh, I know. Please take this as a thanks for the seashell. Fruits. Oh, butts. Nice, thank you. <laughs> my mom recently sent me a box with a peach inside. Actually, she sent three. And she specifically told me that I should share them with people because that's what good puppies do. Oh. Please, you're killing me here, Isabel. During this season, I'd recommend both fishing and bud catching. By the way, what do you think you'd like to try first? 
Well, we already have a bug net, so I could do with a fishing rod. In that case, why not use this opportunity to make this your fishing debut? So get a fishing rod and catch at least three different kinds of fish. Then show me your encyclopedia. If you find it difficult to get your hands on a fishing rod, come back and let me know. Oh, that's indeed a problem. In that case, why don't you buy one of the ones we keep at the town hall for situations like this? How many times does this situation happen? It's fine. I was already ugly. If you bring me 500 bells, I can let you have her from the town hall. Let's do it. Our very first fish is the horse mackerel. Really glad it's not a sea bass. Ooh. A moray eel. A seahorse. Oh my god, look at its massive eye. According to your fish encyclopedia, I will show you catching fish without any trouble whatsoever. I hope you have fun catching bugs with the net in the same way you do catching fish. Well, I think that's about all the advice I can give you. Finally, I'd like to give you a small present, sort of a welcoming gift of sorts. It's the watering can, you see? It was all part of my elaborate plan to get all the tools in one day. I know how to Animal Crossing speedrun. I don't know if you have an interest in gardening, oh, Isabel. But I really hope you'll use that watering can. Also, I know there are still many more things for you to learn and discover about living in this town. Just think about the advice I've given you so far and enjoy living the life you want most. Most want. I can read. I'm sure you'll figure out a lot on your own while you go about your days enjoying our town. I'll continue to be here to support you to the best of my ability. I hope I can help you for many years to come. Oh, Isabel. Well, I think that's about as much as we can do today. I don't want to do too much, you know, and kind of like bombard you with a ton of Animal Crossing. There's still plenty for us to do, as Isabel said, so we've met all the villagers. We've planted this little tree. We've got all of the tools, well, pretty much most of the tools needed in the game. And we have a house. Oh, and a visitor. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Anyway, I brought you something nice. A leaf. That's very thoughtful. I appreciate that. It was a lantern. That was pretty good as well, though. Let's go ahead and stick that lantern right about there. Oh, Isabel, we kind of know I have issues with pressing A. I, I think I think she's kind of had it with my nonsense, you know. I'm just going to go press A. <laughs> oh, super! Since it's so old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. Sorry to barge in you like this. I'll be taking my leave now. Oh yeah, let's have a tent rave. Well, as I was saying before we went to the tent, that's pretty much everything we can do today. So we'll finish the rest of our mayor duties tomorrow and then it'll be Halloween. So I'm very looking forward to that. But for now, I'm going to call it an episode there. Bye bye.